SQL Server Profiler is one of the best kept secrets in the Microsoft SQL Server product. SQL Server Profiler can best be compared to a network analyzer because what it's going to do is sit out there and monitor an entire database engine instance and let you see everything that happens. Now, there's so many stories out there of consultants who have used these things and uh, trust me when you go out on a job as a consultant and you use profiler and the DBAs didn't know it was out there you just look like some sort of guru and really you didn't do anything you just kind of turned this thing on and it showed you what was happening so I want to introduce this thing to you if you've never seen it if you have then you already know what's going on it's virtually the same that it was in SQL Server 2000 it's just that the interface is a little bit different it's actually a little bit better and I'll show it to you uh, in an upcoming video but what do we do with Profiler? We save captured data but the strong thing here is either to a file or a table now you will be directed back to SQL Server Profiler time and again because when we try to do an index tuning wizard we'll be directed to use a trace file which we create with SQL Server Profiler and so forth so you're going to come back to this in a lot of different places let's look at some terminology before I actually show you the profiler and how it works so that you'll understand what I'm talking about when I set it up. First of all, the SQL Server Profiler is going to basically watch the database server and look for certain events that you tell it that you want to know about. An example is of an event is, for example, a login connection, a failure or a disconnection. So as you can see here, the definition on the screen, an event is an action generated within an instance of the database engine. So when a login connection happens, if we've told it that the login connection event, we want to see something happen, boom. As soon as a login connection happens, that event's triggered and we catch it and we grab information about that particular event. If there's a login failure, if there's a disconnection. Notice this is huge. Transact SQL, if a select statement, insert, update, or delete statement is executed, we can capture those and actually see the text. The start or end of a stored procedure, we can see those. If there's an error written to the SQL Server error log, we can see, number one, that an error was written and what the error was. This is just a, a slice of what you can get. There's a bunch of things that you can pull with the SQL Server Profiler based on events. Notice you can get a lock required or released. If you're having locking issues, turn this thing on and grab these events on the locks, and you can see exactly what's going on with locking. Now an event class is a type of event that can be traced and this is the way that you'll see them inside the profiler. For example, a batch completed, that's an event that we can look for store procedures or select statements, insert statements. If we want to audit the logins, this will get our login connections and so forth, logouts when a lock was acquired, when a lock was released. And so those are the event classes that we'll use to grab our information. And then what's really cool, now if you'll think about this, if I turn Profiler on, it's going to catch everything that happens to this SQL Server. That can be a lot of stuff. So I can filter the information and notice this is going to keep my trace from becoming too large. So I'm only going to get a subset of what's actually happening on that server. Here's a good example of this. I can limit the events that I'm capturing to a particular Windows username. So if there's a particular user that I want to watch or find out, you know, what for what reason, for every reason why they're having trouble, why they're seeing slow response. I can just get that window username or user group or whatever. So there's a lot of ways that I can limit or filter my subsets. So in the next video or two, I'm going to open SQL Server Profiler, show you how to set this thing up, show you some of the possibilities, and actually run a trace and let you see this thing. Uh, this is a really, it's almost a silver bullet for an administrator to be able to find out exactly what's going on in their network and to know what to do about it.